What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today we have a brand new Xur location and inventory review for the weekend of September 16th to the 19th and so let's get started. But really quick guys if you want to get some advanced GG best energy drink out there use code KHD30 for 30% off this weekend only and if my code gets used more than MTOSH you can win a mini fridge so definitely check that out. Alright now as for Xur he is going to be located on Nessus in the Watcher's Grave. All right, so let's take a look at what he has. Firstly, in terms of exotics, we have the two-tailed fox here. Not a bad little rock launcher. The shards of Galanor, which makes a very fun hunter build. Uh, and a decent amount of resilience here. Definitely great for PvE. So this is a consideration to pick up. Uh, the Hallowfire Heart is a great one. The roll here is okay. 65 is good. Recovery is good. But a little bit too much mobility. However, now that Lorely goes got nerfed for the titan this is definitely a consideration and then the transversive steps here ah i mean recovery spike absolutely and these are a fantastic exotic but 59 is absolutely on the low end now moving on to the weapons well we have the imperial needle here with uh, impulse amplifier swashbuckler this is actually not a bad roll this is from season of the chosen yeah like Impulse Amplifier, improving the reload speed especially, Swashbuckler for a damage bonus, I would certainly consider this if you need a Void Bow. Then we've got the Royal Chase, Grave Rubber Quick Drop, and it's alright. Triple Tap Demo, Enigma, Enigma's Drop, it's alright. A Heating Up Cornered, Iota Draconis, now that's actually not bad, but not amazing. We do have an Ignition Code here, ooh. We have an ignition code with spike grenades, surplus, and danger zone. Danger zone, spike grenades, certainly good. Not so sure about surplus. Uh, so, eh. Then, whoa. We have, ooh, so close. So we have a field prep full court interference. I mean, field prep giving you more reserve ammo. Full court improving the damage as it travels further. If we had spike grenades, this would be, like, basically a god roll and remember guys heavy grenade launchers got a 10 percent damage buff this season so they're hitting pretty darn hard right now so definitely consider this if you want to pick it up again just missing spike grenades for that really really good roll but certainly still a very good roll then we have a zen moment multi kill clip lonesome or sorry kill clip lonesome certainly kill clip on the lonesome is pretty good but eh. now um what the heck is going on with the armor? <laughs> I kind of just... There's double the amount of armor available? Is this... I'm going to check on the other characters when I get to them, but we have got the Reaper set. Or sorry, not... Sorry, my bad. Invader set. We have the Invader old gauntlet set. You can see like the snake here. Uh, definitely a desirable set to grab just for the aesthetic if you don't have this set definitely definitely pick it up you know you have the the red snake icon all around it um and then we also have like kind of pathfinders set uh this is from the dreaming city like uh and uh, both are available for some reason so we have a lot of armor to go over let's first actually go over the, the weapons on the back here surplus hawkmoon at pretty average moving target dead man's tail i'm not interested in moving target only works while aiming down sights you're hip firing with a DMT. You know what I mean. Okay, now let's go over this massive amount of armor. Um, so, gauntlets, way too much mobility in my opinion. However, if you want mobility on a Titan, this is an insane roll. 65, 24 mobility. Um, 61, recovery and intellect right there. Pretty darn good. Uh, then we've got uh, 62, not very spiky. Recovery, discipline, intellect, uh, strength being featured. It's all right, the helmet. Way too much mobility, and 59 is a bit low. And then on to the next armor set. Uh, 57 with recovery and intellect. Interesting. We have 53. Unbelievably low. Unusually low. You almost never see under 55 from Xur. So this is maybe part of this glitch. Uh, we have extremely low 53. Extremely low uh, 52. So definitely some unusual stuff going on with two armor sets. I, I've never, see, never seen this before. Let's, uh, let's switch to the Warlock and see if that's happening there too. All right, now for the Warlock, same, th is this a new thing? Was there a patch note I didn't read? 
Uh, cause you have two sets of armor. I, I mean, loaded in completely different character and have two sets of armor. So is this going to be a thing going forward? One set of kind of powerful armor that's always above 55 and one set that's below just to give people more options and armor. Uh, I don't know. I'm, again, I've never seen this. This is crazy. All right. So the gauntlets 58 bit low, not spiky where I want it to be. I'm going to pass 63. That's a lot better with a big discipline spike, a little too much mobility. Unless you want mobility, then it's pretty good. A uh, helmet 63 recovery and strength being featured. Not bad. Uh, 59 huge discipline spike 59 is a bit low but I mean if you were looking to put together a grenade build this could be quite useful then 54 kind of spiky not the best 52 very low 53 too low 49 extremely low so definitely the it seems like the second set is more aesthetic than actually practical now let's switch to the hunter all right now for the hunter well same thing all right all three characters uh, 58, I mean, recovery intellect being featured is great, but 58 is a bit low. 61 with mobility, resilience, discipline, strength. Eh, pretty average. Helmet, 62 with big recovery and strength spikes. Not bad. 58, a bit low. Uh, 52, 51, 54, 52. Yeah, I'm just going over this. Yeah, it's all low armor. Guys, that is, is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. Apparently, Zura is selling two sets of armor now, or maybe it's a glitch for just this weekend. I have no idea. Uh, leave in the comment section what you think is going on. Hope you, uh, hope you again enjoyed this video, found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.